IHM, I'm Evan. I'm Ben. And today we have our special Homecoming 2015 episode. We had a beautiful Saturday morning with lots of highlights to show you. And you'll be seeing that right about now. Horace Mann took on Foreman in an accelerating football game after a tough loss in Newark Academy. Foreman on offense in the first quarter. The low snap, he fumbles, but the quarterback recovers. Now he drops back to pass under some pressure. It's tipped, and Alex O'Neill makes the diving interception. Horace Mann on offense after the interception. Mark Murphy keeps it up in the middle, and he makes his defenders miss it. He is off for the races. After that 54-yard touchdown, Mark accelerates in accelerating fashion. Horace Mann up 7-0. Now Horace Mann back on offense. Mark Murphy again. He keeps it. He is making the defenders miss again. He has played an outstanding game so far. He scores the second touchdown of the day, and Horace Mann's looking unstoppable in the early going. Horace Mann already up 14-0, still in the first quarter. And interception by Brandon Lutnick, and he's returning it. He could go. No, he fumbles, but Teddy Keegan, our very own Lion Report member, he recovers the fumble, and Horace Mann gets set up with optimal field position. Now Mark Murphy with the green option. He keeps it, and he's in the end zone for his third touchdown of the day. He did fumble, however, they ruled it a touchdown. And as a result, Horace Mann is up 21-0. Now Horace Mann on defense, and they get the sack. Horace Mann is just dominating this game. They're looking good on both sides of the ball. The special teams is good as well. And Horace Mann is not going to stop dominating. Mark Murphy, he keeps it again for his fourth touchdown of the day. He was born to play football, and he's showing off his talents in front of the large amount of spectators on homecoming. And Mark cannot be stopped. Horace Mann scores again. This time he handed it off. However, Horace Mann is just absolutely dominating. Fed up by so much, they put in Alec Ginsburg, the backup quarterback. He passes to Billy Learman on third and 15, and Horace Mann gets the first down. Now, Horace Mann in the red zone, Alec Ginsburg in the shotgun. He keeps it himself, and he rushes in for the touchdown, and the Lions go on to win 41 to 12. Homecoming 2015, Trinity the unlucky victim for today's game against Water Polo, and we begin it with the captain, Max Spector. He puts in a goal, there's one. Just keep note of the count. Arrow says, I'm gonna be Tom Brady for a second, but he just misses the goal. Then Arrow with a nice save. Captain Mac, Max Spector with number two. We are so deep posting up, and he gets mauled by the training player. Hey ref, you can't do that. So that's a foul, it's still HM ball. And he'll dump it off to Spectre. The training player towering over him, but doesn't face him, and he'll put in number three. And then Spectre will get the retaliation for the beer beating. He gets him, he crushes him. It's a foul, but it's okay. Training deserved it anyway. And then some more suffocating defense, and the ball ends up in Arrow's hands. And now, how about we finish it off with a goal? It's redemption time for Beer. He says, take that, Trinity. He feels good about himself, and Trinity probably doesn't because they got crushed on homecoming. Horace Mann girls varsity tennis took on Riverdale on homecoming. Coming in with a 6-0 record, here's number one singles, Gibby Thomas. She dominates with her forehand right here. Her opponent is unable to return. Gibby wins her match. Now we take you back over to Gibby. Give you the number one singles player. She's just a freshman showing the bright future that this team has. Now we're going to take you around the grounds over to the doubles matches. Horace Mann goes undefeated on the day. They win all five of their matches. And really, in addition to their winning today, they've just won throughout this whole season. They improved to 6-0. And we see May or Didi right there. Her opponent is unable to get that. She wins the point. And now we're going to finish up with some giving because... Why not? Gibby is just dominant, showing the overall ability of this team has a bright future. And we take you now to the upper gym where girls volleyball took on Riverdale in their homecoming matchup. This one looks great from the girls from the get-go. Lauren Simpson takes her level of love way up, and the Riverdale team can't handle it for the first point of the match. Later on in the match now, we see defense on both sides as Riverdale tries to finish it. Horace Mann keeps it alive. Jayla trying to sneak it over the net, they can't do it. And this point continues on with a couple more back and forth. As we see Riverdale tips it over, of course Izzy Rivera's there for the save. But it all comes to culmination here as Chi Chi sets up the block right there, back to Jayla and Chi Chi bang! That's a spike! Keeps it going and Horace Mann holds on to take that first set. Into the second set now, we see it sets up and a back set beautiful to Izzy Rivera who puts away, Riverdale can't handle it. And we continue on with the Horace Mann dominating this set. 
Later on in the set now, we see Horace Mann keeping the defense going as they send it over cross court to Lauren Simpson who can't put it away. Riverdale manages to hold on. And they send that one back over to Horace Mann. Chi Chi can't get the block on it. And we see Jayla sets it up and another Chi Chi spike looking good in this set. However, that would not be the end of the ferociousness within this match as Chi Chi sets it up once again. That's just lethal. And Horace Mann would manage to keep this one solid and by a score of three sets to zero. Greetings, my young grasshoppers, and now we take you to HM Girls Varsity Soccer Homecoming against Riverdale at Alumni Field. The whole game was close, but we'll skip right to overtime. And this girl certainly hit the RBY button because it is a lob ball right through the middle, but it is a miss. Riverdale here with the chance, and oh, it gets through and they score. What a crowd silencer, but don't rule the lines out, because they come back right here with Nico Lesser, right through the five hole. Here we see a great chance by the Lions on a breakaway, but the Riverdale goalie comes and scoops up the ball. And as time winds down, no one ends up scoring, and the final score is 1-1. In front of their biggest crowd on the season, the Soccer Lads took on Riverdale in this homecoming matchup. As we see Devin Tejan dribble it down the side and cross it in from Noah Skolnick. That's a goal. The Lions take an early lead of 1-0. However, Riverdale would soon respond with their own chances on the corner kick. They're able to put it in for the header, the equalizer, right past Noah Simon, and it luckily goes in for them. However, this would not be the end of the match as we see Merrick Gilston looking for something there, but he can't get it. And now we see a Trilly Dracos free kick just over the bar. That could have been big, but not so. Inches merely. And Riverdale also had the chance as a diving save by Noah Simon. Let's have another, wow, what an effort he puts on display as the sophomore goalkeeper looked great in this matchup. Unfortunately, Ben Harp can't stop the Riverdale player, which leads to a further attack, and they're able to put it in late in the matchup to take this one by a score of 2-1. to one. Okay, today we're at Horace Mann versus Riverdale homecoming. Horace Mann starts with the ball, and seems to be, oh, getting ice pass. And the ball goes, oh, just wide the goal. Alright, Horseman back on defense here, defender running back, oh, and clears the ball pretty nice there. And here is Anya Swift with the ball, she makes a nice pass to the front, and they take a shot, but... Oh, so close! Horseman on the attack here, number 21 with the ball, oh, with the kick save! Horseman is playing some nice defense in the first half, and here's an example. With Swift with a nice deal! Oh. Neither team has full control. Horace Mann gets the ball here, gets a quick shot off, and I think they scored! That's a goal! Riverdale rebounded early in the second half with a goal, and they're gonna score another one here to secure their 2 1. Thanks for watching. Tune in next week.